It's been nearly two years since a pair of at sea accidents killed 17 sailors. Today, the Navy's number two officer said he's confident his branch will succeed in implementing more than 100 reforms designed to ensure that history doesn't repeat itself. 13 News Now military reporter Mike Gooding spoke with Vice Chief of Naval Operations Bill Moran at Naval Station Norfolk. Well, I got a lot of confidence it'll be corrected. It's never in as fast as we would like it. After the destroyers USS McCain and USS Fitzgerald in 2017 had at-sea collisions that resulted in the deaths of 17 sailors, the Navy embarked on a mission to learn from those accidents and take action to fix the problems to make a more combat-effective force that places the safety, readiness, and training of people first. From the Readiness Reform Oversight Committee's effort, 103 reforms were ordered. But progress hasn't been instantaneous. In testimony last week, the Navy revealed it is 6,200 sailors short for at-sea billets. And a GAO report last year found that sailors were being overworked and not getting proper sleep. The Fleet Forces and Pacific Fleet Admirals said if ships aren't ready to go, they won't deploy. The Vice Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral Bill Moran, after visiting the USS Truxton, said the Navy still has a ways to go. And I heard things that uh, gave, me, gave me a lot of confidence that we're headed in the right direction. But all of them cautioned me rightfully that we're still early into this and we've got to give this time. He said ensuring ships are fully prepared before deploying is the way to go. This is the right thing to do uh, because we are in such a high demand situation that we don't want to end up in a place where we're sending people forward that aren't ready. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.